welcome to this week's Grab and Go. My name is Mrs. Joel from the Whiting Public Library. Um, this week we have um, a kindness quilt for everybody to do. So you can come in and pick up your package and in it, um, it, it gives you the directions and it also then has an at-home kindness checklist um, because uh, November 13th is National Kindness Day. So you'll tell you some ways, uh, acts that you can do. You write them down for who you do it for, um, but different ways um, you show kindness. And then also in that we put, um, there are two quilt patterns. You're going to get two of these and you can decorate either both of them or you can do one of them. But on the top here, it does say kindness is. So you're going to fill in what you think kindness is or what kindness is to you. And then you are going to color it with your own crayons or markers. And then you can cut out your square. And then you're going to bring it in and we are going to try to make a kindness quilt um, on our wall here at the library. So you'll be able to see your work hanging up. And if you do return it, you will get to pick a little um, little uh, quick little toy or gift if you do bring it back. So um, I hope everybody can bring those in, at least one or um, both of them if possible. And that is can be picked up today um, or tomorrow while supplies last, as always. But before that, um, I am going to read a quick story for you. So this is The Kindness Quilt, and this is by Nancy Elizabeth Wallace. She's the author um, and illustrator of this. And you can see she uses these little, uh, different type of illustrations. They're not drawings or paintings or, you know, um, watercolors or anything, but it's a collage that she uses. So she actually uses pieces that she's found and they are, they are, pictures are done of them, um, and she kind of creates these bunnies and such. Um, she has a few different books that a lot of people probably also have um, seen before. So this is the kindness quilt. Um, so one Friday at Shearing Circle, Minna helped Mrs. Bloom hold up a large green book. I love stories, Minna said. I do too, said Mrs. Bloom. I'm going to read as an Aesop fable. Mrs. Bloom began reading. We can see here that they've got their circle time going on. All the little, what are they? What kinds of animals? Little bunnies, right? They're all bunnies, right? Cute bunnies. So Aesop's fable was the lion and the mouse. Maybe you've seen that book before or you at least heard the story. So it goes, long ago, a tiny mouse was scampering through the jungle. By and by, he came upon a great lion snoozing in the tall grass. The mouse was feeling playful, so he plucked a blade of grass and tickled the lion's nose. Roar, roared the lion, grabbing the little mouse by his huge padded paw. What is this, an afternoon snack? Please, please don't eat me, begged the mouse. Someday I will do you something nice. Uh, I will do something nice to help you. Ha ha ha, laughed the lion. You help me? But he let the mouse go and he fell back to sleep. So that's their circle time story. A few weeks later, the mouse was scurrying home when he heard a terrible roar. There was his friend trapped in a net and the little mouse gnawed on the ropes with his sharp teeth and set the mighty lion free. He probably didn't think that the little mouse could help save that lion, could he? So he used his teeth to help him, that big lion, get out of that trap. So when the story ended, Minna sat down. Then Mrs. Bloom asked, what's the moral of this fable. I know, I know, said Minna. It's about kindness. The lion let the mouse go, and later the mouse helped the lion. I think they both felt happy about being kind. Tyrone said, it shows you can be kind whether you're little or big. Do you guys think that's true? Lindsay said, we should try to do something kind every day. Do you guys agree with that? I think so. It's always nice to do something kind every day. Dave said, I'm kind to noodles. Noodles, he said, right? Can you be kind to noodles? I don't know about that. 
Yes, said Mrs. Bloom. Kindness is a good thing for all of us to practice, no matter how big or small we are. I know that you are very kind, so let's celebrate kindness with a do and draw and share kindness project. So some of you might actually be doing kindness projects in school right now. You might be bringing something home and creating something or doing something for people at school. So that night, Minna told Mom, Dad, and Pip, Mrs. Bloom wants us to do something kind, then make a picture about it and take the picture into school to share. It's a kind of kindness project. That's a wonderful idea, said Mom. But, said Minna, I'm not sure what to do. We can help you with ideas, said Dad. So early Saturday morning, before Mom and Dad got up, Minna read to Pip. Reading me books is a good idea for your kindness picture, Minna, said Pip. Minna nodded, but she said, I'm still thinking. There they are at the dinner table where they were talking about what her project can be. What are those bunnies eating? What do real bunnies like to eat? You can see they are eating, looks like salad, right? Just like actual bunnies, right? So before lunch, Minna went with mom to community cleanup day. Do you think that's something kind if you help clean up your community? I think so. So picking up litter in the parks is being kind to our earth, said mom. That could be an idea for your kindness picture. Minna nodded. But, she said, I'm still thinking. So later in the afternoon, Minna and Dad cooked creamy carrot soup for supper. Probably every rabbit's favorite carrot soup, right? So Minna took a big jar to their neighbors. Is that kind, bringing a jar of soup to your neighbors? I think so. So after supper, Minna got a pencil and paper. Kindness, kindness, she whispered to herself. There are lots of kinds of kindness. Dad brought Minna a snack. Mmm, yum, said Minna. Sharing the soup with Mr. and Mrs. Checker could be an idea for your kindness, said Dad. Minna nodded, but she said, I'm still thinking. She just can't decide. So you can use my new markers, Minna, said Pip. Thanks. Minna started writing and drawing. Later, Mom tiptoed in. She brought Minna scissors and more paper. Minna smiled. Thanks, Mom. Then Minna started cutting. She's coming up with her idea. What would your idea for kindness be, um, kindness project? Would it be helping your neighbors, somebody in your family? Doing something for a friend, maybe? Maybe creating something or helping clean? What would yours be? Think about that while we finish this story. So on Sunday afternoon, Minna looked at what she had written and drawn and cut out. So here's everything that she did. She has picking up trash, sharing soup with your neighbors, reading books to your little brother. My family helping me is even kindness, right? And suddenly, Minna knew what she wanted to do. She found her glue stick, and she got to work. On Monday, Minna took her artwork to school. She listened as Carrie, Tyrone, Kyle, Lindsay shared pictures of their acts of kindness. So there's all those bunnies. So we have... Um, this first bunny, Carrie, says, Kindness is setting the table without being asked. Have you ever helped your mom or dad set the table? Or maybe even a grandmother or grandpa set the table for dinner? That's kindness. And let's see, Tyrone said, Kindness is getting your dad his hammer. And it looks like when he's on the ladder. So that's help, helping kindness, right? And then Kyle, this bunny, says, kindness is sharing your toys, right? You always want to share your toys. So give them to your friends and don't make, make sure you don't keep it to yourself, but sharing. And then Lindsay says, cheer for the other team when your team wins. So make sure anybody who wins or loses, 
that you want to tell everybody great game and that cheer for them too. So that's all of their ideas. And so let's see what Minna's idea is now. When it was Minna's turn, she helped up. She held up her artwork. Ooh, said the class. It looks like a beautiful quilt, said Lindsay. Wow, said Tyrone. If you want to, you can make yours look like a quilt too, said Minna. Great, said Mrs. Bloom. Let's get out the art materials. So Kyle, Carrie, Tyrone, Lindsay, since you shared your kindness art today, you can work on your quilt squares and Minna can help. So see how she made it look like a quilt with all the different things that she did? And that's kind of what we want to do on our wall. So once you bring in your um, your squares, we want to be able to put them all together and it'll look like a beautiful quilt on our wall. So they cut and glued, then they taped their acts of kindness together. So they put all the strips of fabric on there. So they're adding them all together together. Mrs. Bloom hung the paper quilt on the small bulletin board. Look how nice that looks. It's exactly what we're going to do. As the days passed, more acts of kindness happened. Maya sent a card. Esteban helped his neighbors. Aman held a door open. Dave took care of noodles. Oh, I thought he meant noodles like the you eat, but it's noodles the fish. So, and the kindness quilt grew until it overflowed the small bulletin board. You could see their noodles. It wasn't real noodles. It was noodles, their fish, pet fish. All the stuff that they've done. So nice. So Mrs. Bloom and the children had to move it to the big bulletin board because it got so big, their big giant kindness quilt. They were all doing so many nice things. As more days passed, more and more acts of kindness happened. Uh, Jadlin was kind to Keisha. Keisha was kind to Zach. Zach was kind to AJ, and AJ was kind to Minna. When the kindness quilt overflowed the, the big bulletin board, you can see they made more quilt pieces that showed their kindness. And then it got so big that Mr. Cooper looks like a maintenance guy. He's got a hammer. Help them hang the quilt on the long wall in the hall. It got so big they had to move it to the hall. I wish my quilt would get that big, that it would have to move somewhere else other than the children's room. And soon other classes joined in. So there's the fourth grade class even added to the quilts. So it's a great idea to share all of their acts of kindness and they all can see the beautiful work that they did. And the kindness, you know what? It kept growing and growing and growing. Look at how big that is, the word growing. Became so giant, that whole quilt. And it grew and grew even past the fourth grade class. The end. So that was the kindness quilt. It was written and illustrated by Nancy Elizabeth Wallace. Um, you can pick this up at the library if you'd like. Um, but also remember to come and get that grab and go um, with your kindness quilt um, papers in it. And please, I'd appreciate it if you would color or um, color your quilt pieces and bring them back to me so I can decorate the children's room here. It's been kind of quiet. Um, so it'll be nice to be able to look at all your guys' work. And remember, start thinking about maybe what you're going to do um, to be kind to others. Um, to your friends, family, um, things that you can do, little things and big things. Remember, it could be either small or big. It doesn't matter. And you can be either small or big. Um, just remember to be kind to everybody. And um, please share your kindness with us on our quilts. So thanks again, everybody, and have a great week.